Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So in the previous video, we have learned about Dijkstra's algorithm using PrattyQ. If you haven't seen that video, please, please go back and watch it because you won't understand anything in this video because it's an extension. It's just an extension of the previous video. Okay, so in the previous video, we did uh, implement Dijkstra's algorithm using the PrattyQ, right? But in this video, what I'll do is I'll try to implement uh, Dijkstra's algorithm using the set data structure. So if you remember, what did we do in the previous video? We just took a priority queue, right? And we stored everything in terms of distance and node. Why did we take priority queue? Because we always wanted the minimum distance at first. That is the reason we took priority queue. Okay, now set. What is the definition of a set? Set stores unique values and the smallest at the top, smallest at the top, and then it stores everything in the ascending order. If you know set data structure, it stores everything in the ascending order, right? So that is what we were doing in priority queue as well. In priority queue, we were looking for the minimum distance. If we take set, it's going to do the same. If you look at the topmost element, it will always be the minimum guy because set stores everything in ascending fashion. However, there is one other reason why I am going to use this particular set data structure. And I'll explain you while again doing a dry run on the same example. Okay, so we'll take a same uh, set data structure, a distance, a node, a source node. And initially, as usual, I'll put zero and everything else to be infinite that's what i'll start off with and i'll just put off distance zero and the source zero in the set data structure so let's take it out and erase it so distance zero with a node zero okay let's quickly uh move it uh to its adjacent nodes i'll just go quick because you already know about it this is going to take plus four so the updated distance will be four i can reach at an updated distance of four Thereby, I'll go and say updated distance of four and a node one in the set data structure. I can also reach the node two by taking a distance of four. So another updated distance of four. So four comma two will come here, right? And this is how we can wrap up the first node. So right after the, right after the first iteration, four comma one will appear at the top because these two are same. So it is differentiated by the node number. So four comma one will tend to appear at the top. So what I'll do is I'll take the four comma one this time. So the distance is four and the node is one. Yes, the distance is four and the node is one. So if I have node one, yes, if I have node one, where can I go from one? I can go to zero and two. So I'll try to go to zero, which is node zero, which will end up taking me four, which will make the distance eight, which will, which I'll not consider. I'll try to go to node two by taking a distance of two, which will make the distance of six, which will again not be considered. So this is done. All right, I'm going quick because you already know this. Next, I'll take four, two. So four, node two. From node two, where can you go? You can go to node zero, that'll cost you four, which will make it a distance of uh, eight, which will not be considered. You can go to node uh, one as well, which will take you a distance of two, make it six, which will not be considered these two things will not be considered if you stand at two there are other things like three four and five where you can go so let's try to go to node three so if i try to go to three it will take me a distance of three which will make me a distance of seven that will be considered so seven comma three will be considered so you can put that into the set data structure right you can so once three is done we will go to the next node which is node four and how much will we take? We'll take one, which will make the distance is five. So five comma four is now the shortest one. It will go at the top. I'll update the distance here, which is the next node. The next node is five. It'll take a distance of six, which will make it a 10. So 10 comma five is what goes into the set and we'll update 10 over here. So I can say this iteration is over. So we can just go and omit uh, this portion of, okay, done. Now is where you understand. Let's go in the set and get the smallest one, which is five comma four distance of five, which is the node four. Okay. Where can four go? Four can go to two. If you carefully see in the graph, which will take it a distance of one, 
you can make it a six, which is not to be considered. But from four, you can go to five, which is going to take three. Plus three is what it'll take to go to five, which will make it eight. And this is why you see previously five was reachable at 10, not infin infinite. If it would have been infinite, please hear my words properly. If it would have been infinite, it means no one reached it ever. But since it is 10, it means someone reached 10. Someone reached 10 previously. Please hear me out properly. At 5, we do not have an infinite. We have a 10. Had it been infinity, it means it's the first time someone is reaching 5. But since it is 10, it means someone has reached 5, which took him a distance of 10. So, I'm sure there would be a 10,5 in the set. I'm sure there would be a 10,5 in the set because someone reached 5 at a distance of 10. I'm sure, right? So if I'm sure, I'm getting a better one and I'm putting that into the set data structure, something like an 8,5 will go here. Like if I go and erase this portion, something like an 8,5 will go here. Now if an 8,5 goes, is there a point in keeping 10,5? No. This is where you say, I know the set will have a 10,5. Set, please erase it. Pratic you cannot erase. Pratic you will do the iteration. But set will say, I have a liberty. I can do this erase operation. I'll go and erase it. The moment I see there's a better alternative, I'll definitely put in 8,5. But before putting in, I'll say, there's no need of 10,5. I can reach 5 in a much, much better distance. And if I can reach 5 in a much, much better distance, why don't I use that better distance? Why will I end up using 10? I don't need extra iterations. I don't want, uh, I don't want in the future that uh, this happens like, just a minute. I don't want in the future that I, in the next step, probably I'll get eight and I'll do for five. And then again, I'll take five and do it 10. That won't be of any use because if eight was taken prior to 10, it would have given me the shortest distance. So there's no point in taking 10. This is why I'll use set. I'll use set to erase. Very important. I'll use to erase already existing paths. Already existing paths. Does it uh, improve the time complexity? Very, very minorly. Not much. Very, very like depends on the graphs. But uh, it's better that you use set because even set will go as uh, even if you do an erase. Set dot erase is a logarithmic operation. So now can I say that if I use set, uh, it will be a better complexity than prior to Q? No, why? Right? Because set dot erase ends up taking a logarithmic time. So you are probably saving up on iterations in the future, which might not be, but you are erasing it. So erase takes login. So you are investing a login. And in the future, you are saving some iteration. So depending on the size of the graph, a lot of things will depend. So you cannot explicitly tell me that set is better than priority queue or priority queue is better than set. Both of them can be used because it'll be hardly a minor difference. But this is how you tell to the interviewer that these are the cases where I can use. These are the cases where I cannot use. And if you tell the interviewer with such concept clarity that you know ev like almost every bits and pieces, you will be impressed and tell him you learn from take you forward uh cool uh i hope you have understood the algorithmic implementation now it's time to code it up i'll be coding the c plus plus on the right and uh exact similar java code is on the left so we are given uh the vertex uh the adjacency list and the source so set of pair go and declare a set of pair because it's gonna store set of pairs and please make sure you declare a distance array of b v comma an infinity which is 29 in our case perfect initial configuration set always stores what 0 comma s yes and distance of s equal to 0 same thing while just keep on iterating in the set it's exact similar yes it's the exact similar to this thing and now you say out of id and just point like if you do an iterator this iterator points to the beginning of the set and if you do a star you get the value at that address so st.begin will be an iterator pointing to the address where the sets 
first element is and the star will give you the value so i can say the node is nothing but id dot second and i can say the distance is uh, id dot first cool that's the thing i can say now you need to remove it from the set as well that's the thing please make sure you just call the remove function that's erase after this you go across and travel in the set simple same thing that you did in priority queue and you say okay this is my adjacency you know id of zero because it's a list that is given to you right and what do you do for edge weight very simple you say edge weight will be nothing but id of one simple next you say okay currently i have taken distance to reach this node and i'll take another edge weight to reach adjacent node if this is smaller than adjacent node that means i can update it but before that wait we need to erase if it existed which means if distance of adjacent node is not equal to 189 it means someone reached someone reached and if someone reached can i go across and probably say set dot erase what that someone would have taken distance of adjacency node and adjacency node in the set erase once you've erased you just go ahead and say the new distance is this i care about this now and the same thing i can go and tell to the set this is the new distance please insert that into yourself cool uh, and adjacency note once you've done this the same thing just go across and say return of distance so on submitting we see that all the test cases are running fine so so guys i hope you've understood this uh, just in case your interviewer does ask you how do you have so much of clarity tell him that you read from the uh, striver and yeah just in case you understood everything please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to our channel what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button right away and if you haven't checked out our dp series and the sg sheet the links are in the description make sure you check them out with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in some other video till then bye bye take care